Hello guys, so once again welcome back to Chili Philly and today I am going to show you how to make this kind of text animation now as I am refreshing the page and you can see the animation okay so today I will show you how to make this animation using only HTML and CSS files now you can see in the animation that the character P is coming from this side and K is coming from this side and R and T are coming from the upward direction and A and I are coming from the downward direction and they are rotating after they came to their specific positions okay so I will show you how to make this animation first of all here I have two files one for HTML and other for CSS okay so first of all in the HTML file I have written uh, HTML head tag and then title tag for the title the title will appear here okay and then we have to link our CSS file here I will not write any of the CSS files because I already made it so we can understand more stuff okay so then we have to link our CSS file that, that is a style set so we have to write the style set here and we have to specify its path that is name.css as they are in the same directory now in the body section we have to write in any tag you can I have used here the div tag you can also use any header tag or paragraph tag or anything and I have given a specific id to each character here I have written the, all the characters that will appear here okay so I have written here Pratik and giving it the specific IDs okay so now in the CSS file I have given the body background color to light blue and giving it the width of 100% and height of 100% here I have specified the overflow to hidden that's why because of a page don't scroll whenever the character come from the downward side okay if we don't specify the overflow hidden then the page will scroll okay then we have written here the display inline block that will show each character in one line then I have used the font family snap itc regular if you don't have installed this uh, font family then you can obviously download it from google and install it then I have specified the font size to 100 pixels and then letter spacing to 25 pixels the letter spacing specifies the space between two letters okay so now for the id p that is for capital p we have set the position to relative for some animation purposes and we have set the top position to 150 sorry 250 pixels from the top direction and 250 pixels from the left direction here we have to see that uh, we have to set top position same for all the characters here 250 here 250 everywhere 250 and uh, we have to set the left position different because we want our characters to be dif at different left positions okay so then we have specified 250 pixels here and then 450 400 pixels here and 550 pixels here so I have incremented 150 pixels at every step okay so then I have given a color of orange that is the text color and I have here I have not specified so it will take the default value that is black here orange and black and orange and black okay so I have given alternate color then I have given some text shadow now the text shadow is the two pixels first specify the horizontal then this is for vertical then this is for the blur value and this specifies the color okay so I have given here three different text shadows now here the main purpose is animation so we have to write the first of all we have to write the animation name that is arrive one it will last for two seconds and the animation property is is and the other animation name is rotate it is for two seconds and is then the third one is rot and it will last for two seconds and the two seconds 
specifies the animation delay and one is the iteration count. The iteration count specifies that how much time the animation will run. Okay, so we will see the arrive one animation here. Now the arrive one animation is that at 0% or at the beginning of the animation, the character is at minus 200 pixels from top and minus 200 pixels from the left. And at 100% or at the end of the animation, we want to your specified position. Okay, so we have to write it, write it for each character. So for arrive two, that is for the character R. So we have specified a top position to minus 200 pixels and left position to 400 pixels. So the positions are left position, uh, top position is minus 200. So it will hear something and left is 400 pixels. Okay. The first character will be first of all here because we have specified the minus 200 and minus 200 from top and left. Okay. So I have given it for every, for arrive two, arrive three, I have 600 pixels, 550 pixels from left and for arrive four, five and six. Okay. So now we have used different properties of animation for different characters here arrive one arrive two and arrive three etc okay now we have to look at the animation of the rotate whenever we refresh our page the character came they are rotating you can see it they are rotating so for that we have to use a keyframes animation called rotate you can obviously give any name whatever you want now at 0% we want to transform it from 0 degree to 360 degree so it will rotate all now for the keyframes rot that is for this animation okay now you can see this animation they are rotating a slide now for this first of all at 0% we have rotated 0 degree then minus 6 then plus 6 and 0 now for rotate one that is for the for first character, we will apply the ROT rotate. Then for the second, we will apply the ROT one rotate one. Okay, and alternately. So then, in the second animation ROT one, we have given plus six in at thirty three percent of the animation, and at sixty six percent of the animation, we have given minus six degrees. Okay, so we will see here. For P we have given ROT, for R we have given ROT1, for A we have given ROT, ROT1 and so on. Okay. So now whenever we refresh the page, you can see this, this animation is coming. And the characters are rotating. Okay, Okay, so that's it for this video and if you guys really enjoyed this video then please like, share and subscribe. And if you guys have any doubts about this video or any previous video then please write in the comment section. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.